Hey, what's up? It's Doug with Timebolt. Listen, we've got fourth generation rapid video editor technology to show you today. I'm capturing this entire video with Timebolt and editing. And if you hear, that was just silence and background music. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm recording my screen and webcam entirely in Timebolt. That's um, a, a, a pretty much a first. I would call that a video editor centipede, right? So we're gonna go ahead and pick out a file here to test with. You're gonna see how it, what you're seeing here is the timeline. You can preview, okay? You're gonna see this guy come in. Okay, that was kind of the old way of doing things. Now we can sit here and preview at 2X. Um, if you have uh, multi-track audio, this is where you would be able to combine tracks. I'm not gonna give an in-depth tutorial on that right now. This is just basically to show you the new features. Now, in case you didn't know, before you go in and edit the timeline, you wanna be able to see where your, where your decibels are at. Set the decibel level like this. Make sure you hit update silence detection and make sure that you do all that before you go in and manually edit your timeline. As you can see, that was not the right decibel level. Look at that, cleaned it right on up. Looks like all the silences are gone. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm previewing at 2X speed. This is what you see is deleted. See that? He just kicked a chair, don't want that. You can still preview what's going on inside the silence, or you can just take it back here and it'll skip. You are flying through a timeline. Did you hear that? Oh wait, I heard a so. Let's go ahead and go back. Command B, it's allow, no more so. I think you can see, you can rapidly go through this timeline and edit at super speed. It, it makes sense to actually begin to take out scenes and take after take um, inside time bolt with, with quick keys. You can move with the left, right arrows, shift, will give you uh, 10, 10 drops ahead, so you're always able to keep up on the timeline. And it's here we have fast forward silences. You all know that we've got a whole multitude of transitions that you can get into. I recommend starting off with a quick five minute video. That way you can test all these different parameters without having to wait for a 45 minute file to run. Okay, just test on a single, single video, five minute segment. Do that for me, please. So what's really cool is you are able to put background audio onto any existing video, actually able to overlay this. And I can say I wanna have it at uh, 20%, right? So you can add some extra flavor into your presentation. This is where you can change the output file path. This is where you're gonna check kind of, you know, where are you encoding at? Um, this is probably, you know, if you're like encoding at like some crazy 15, 20, 30 megabits per second, you're gonna go almost lossless, okay? And ultra fast, ultra fast is the least compression, very slow is the most compression, okay? So it's gonna take the most time for time bolt to go through and, and render those files. Once, once you have your different settings hit, you hit add to render queue. So now I can go back if I have additional footage, I can do the exact same thing, or I can just hit export XML, okay? to Premiere or Final Cut or Resolve. I can open up my render queue. And so now I can hit start rendering. This will begin filtering super fast, but that's what's new in Timebolt, fourth generation. It's absolutely incredible. It's built for speed. And uh, we're really hoping that it fits into your workflow as well and really begins to replace a lot of the monotonous time because in the end, it's all about time. Thank you. I'm Doug Wolf of Timebolt. I'm out.